Hi, Vacation Rental Owner or Manager. I'm Kara, and I'm happy to be with you for this podcast. Many STRs are small. It's common to have just a little space, and it's way too easy to emphasize how small it is with your decorating. So tune in for how to make a little place as big as it can be. All right, little spaces can be so hard, but they are so convenient in so many ways as well and easy to turn into a vacation rental. So I know why there are so many. It it makes sense why there are so many that exist. But with the decor that most people use, they look small. They look smaller than they are actually online. And I want to help fix that today. So we will dive right in. Number one in your decorating, use reflective surfaces. One of the most effective ways to create the illusion of more space is to incorporate those reflective surfaces. So think mirrors, glass, glossy finishes like an acrylic table, and those can significantly amplify the amount of light bounced around in the room and make it feel brighter and more open. So for instance, placing a large mirror opposite a window will reflect natural light throughout the room and that will instantly make it appear larger. Mirrors can also be used strategically in dark corners, darker shelves, or narrow hallways to add depth and brightness. Consider using metallic finishes in your items, such as in your lamps, definitely in picture frames, and even metallic wall art itself. And those elements can add a touch of elegance and further further enhance the light and airy feel of a small place. And of course there's glass furniture, but I urge you to avoid that because eventually it will get broken. Okay. Number two, use fewer, but larger items. So that's another key strategy, fewer, but larger items in your decor. And that might sound counterintuitive, but let me explain why it works. When you use many small pieces of furniture and and decor, the space will quickly feel cluttered and cramped. In contrast, larger, normally sized items can create a sense of grandeur and continuity and reduce all that visual noise, all that clutter. Let's dive into some examples. Instead of having multiple small chairs, opt for one or two larger armchairs or a single sizable sofa. And the same goes for the rest of your decor. Instead of having several small little knickknacks, choose a few larger statement pieces that draw the eye and create cool focal points. Larger rugs can also play a significant role in making a room feel more expansive. This is one of my favorite tricks. A big rug under the main seating area can help anchor the space and create a larger cohesive look whereas several small rugs can break up the flow and make the room feel disjointed and small. So remember that balance is really important. Too many small items can make a room feel cluttered, but a few well-chosen regular size or even larger pieces can create a sense of spaciousness and calm. Okay, the third point I wanna make is to have at least some furnishings on legs. That might be one you've never thought of, but that is an important thing to do if you have a little space. Furniture with exposed legs can make a significant difference in how spacious a room feels. So this design choice allows light to flow under and around the furniture, creating a sense of openness. Let's think about a specific example. A sofa with visible legs can make a living room feel less heavy and more airy compared to a bulky skirted sofa that goes all the way to the floor and sits directly clunky down on the floor. And the same goes for tables, chairs, and sometimes even beds. Raised furniture pieces give the illusion of more floor space, which tricks the eye into seeing the room as larger. This doesn't mean every piece of furniture needs to be on legs. In fact, I do recommend a few pieces going all the way to the floor but incorporating a few items can dramatically change the perception of how big the space is. So combining these with other strategies like reflective surfaces and regular size or larger, a few larger pieces will further enhance the spacious feel. The next uh, 
point that I'd like to make to avoid cluttering up your little space is to avoid big bulky arms on chairs and sofas. Big, thick, bulky arms can consume valuable space and make a room feel tight. So opting for furniture with slim or no arms can free up visual and physical space and make the room feel bigger. So an example of this is an armless chair or those with narrow arms. They will allow for more seating options without overwhelming the space. And in small living areas, a streamlined sofa with thin arms or sometimes even armless designs will offer the same comfort without that extra bulk. And it looks sleek and cool too. This doesn't mean sacrificing style or comfort. Many modern designs incorporate those sleek lines and minimalist arms and are still inviting and cozy. The key is to choose pieces that provide functionality and comfort, but don't take up more space than necessary. So avoid those big chunky arms. Okay, the fifth point, don't ask too much of your space. This is one of the most important aspects of designing a small room. Don't ask too much of it. And by, by that, I mean, if you're trying to cram in too many functions into a limited area, that will lead to cluttered and an uncomfortable environment. So if you have, for instance, a 500 square foot rental, trying to accommodate 10 people at, who also need a game area and a work area as a desk, that is unrealistic and it will result in a negative guest experience. So instead, focus on creating a comfortable space for a realistic number of people. And this might mean providing high quality sleeping arrangements for four to six people, other than squeezing in a bunch of beds for eight or 10. Also be mindful of the functionality. That, that is what is asking too much of a space. Ensure there's enough room for guests to move around comfortably, to store their belongings and enjoy the amenities that you have. You do not want them feeling cramped. Don't ask too much of it, keep it simple. Uh, providing a thoughtful and well-designed space for fewer guests will lead to better reviews and repeat bookings. Number six on my list here is to coordinate or match large furnishings to your wall color. This can create a seamless, expansive look. When furniture blends with the walls, it reduces visual interruptions and makes the room appear more cohesive for sure and more spacious. So for, for example, if your walls are a soft beige, choosing a sofa in a similar tone well, you'll still see the sofa, but it won't be an intrusive look. It will kind of blend in and create a more unified and open feel. And this technique can be also used with other large items like bookcases or wardrobes. The goal is to create a harmonious palette that allows the eye to move smoothly around the room. And definitely this doesn't mean everything has to be the same color, but keeping those large pieces in a similar shade to the walls can make the space feel less cluttered and more open. So there you have it. By using reflective surfaces, opting for fewer but normal scale larger items, incorporating furniture on legs, avoiding bulky arms on seating, not asking too much of your space, and coordinating large furnishings with wall colors, you can make any little place feel bigger and more inviting. I am so happy you've been here today. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to talking again next time. Thank you for joining in on Step Up Your STR. Please take just 30 seconds to like, review, and subscribe. It's a simple thing that fuels our mission to empower more STR owners and managers for higher success. I look forward to talking again next time.